Good morning. Welcome to day two of the University Transfer Fair presented by Wake Tech Academic Advising. We're very excited to have you join us today for North Carolina Wesleyan College presentation. A few announcements before this event. There will be a Q&A portion at the end of the presentation, so go ahead and you can add your questions into the Q&A box during the presentation, but just know they'll be answered at the end. And then please make sure to stay for the entire event. There will be a survey posted in the chat box at the end of the event. We ask that you complete that survey for a chance to win a $50 Visa gift card. All right, our presenter today is Shantoni Grant from North Carolina Wesleyan College. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you. Take it away. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shantana Grant. I stayed with four from North Carolina Wisdom College. Um, so I'm giving. Am I? Oh. Am I good at red game? Good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shantana Grant. Um, and I'm the transfer Mr. Council here at North Carolina Wesleyan College. So today I'll be giving you guys a brief overview of the admissions process and also a brief overview of the campus. Oh, next slide, please. So here's some quick facts about our college. So we're a four year private liberal arts institution. Um, our enrollment is approximately 2,000 people. Our class average size is a 13 to 1 teachers to ratio. So what it look like is mostly 25 kids in the class or less than that, as you guys are already having in your class right now. Um, we also offer free books into our tuition. Parking pass is free. Um, freshmen can drive on campus. Obviously, you guys are not freshmen. You guys are French students. <laughs> um, laundry is free as well as the online application is free. 99% of our students do receive some form or support from the financial aid. And since we're test blind, which you guys transferring in, test blind scores doesn't matter, but we do not offer any test scores required. Next slide, please. Um, we also are Methodist affiliated. Um, we offer 30 majors and 32 minors. And as stated before, um, we have a 13 to 1 student faculty ratio. We also do offer open door policy with professors. Um, so what does that look like is if you have any questions or concerns after classes, you can literally just actually professor for help and then your door will always be available to you. So our student resources, we have career fairs, resume building. We partner up with the Act One program to help enhance resume and also help with people with interview questions and answers as well. Um, we do have a student success program and we also have a first year mentor program. So once you travel in, we have someone, someone to help you transition from the two year institution to the four year institution. And we also offer math lab, right and lab our, um, professional tutors are for free at Wesleyan, as well as peer to peer tutoring as well. Athletics, um, we are division three from the USA South Conference. Um, we offer basketball for men's um, football, soccer, golf, tennis, track and field, and golf. And for women's, we offer basketball, cross country, lacrosse, soccer, um, softball, tennis, track and field, cheer and dance, and also newly added is esports. If you want to get in any clubs, in contact with any clubs and organization, um, we will have that provided on, on request, but here are all the clubs and organizations you can get involved with. So on campus, we have two diners, our lunch cafe and also our late night diner. Our blue and gold diner is in our blue and gold cafe. <laughs> um, I call it the Buffalo um, 
the Golden Corral because when you go in there, we have everything you like to eat, ranging from you know Taco Tuesdays, Fried Chicken Wednesdays, cereal, uh, dessert out, um, vegetarian vegetarian food, as well as sandwiches and such. We also do have a Starbucks cafe on campus as well. Um, so what will look like you'll get an ID card and you'll be able to use your ID card to purchase any Starbucks as well as going into the Blue and Gold Cafe. And then we also have a late night diner called the Wild Cafe, which opens at 7 p.m. and closes at 11. And that's like your Buffalo Wild Wings style of food. Um, living on campus, living off campus. Um, so for students that would like to live off campus, it's a 15 mile commute radius. Um, and you're obviously well to go home and come back. And we also have on campus living. There are nine residence halls. Five of these are double rooms and four of these are single dorms. Um, we also have the Wesleyan Villa and there's 16 town villas that are available right now. And five room students have the same sex in each one of them. And these are the requirements for living off campus. Um, you have to reside with a parent guy within a 30 mile radius, as I've spoken before, and you have to have 60 credit hours and a minimum of a 2.7 GPA. You have to be 22 years of age or older, and you will have to live on campus for two semesters. International students will have to live on campus for two semesters. So we're going to get into the cost and aid. So first things first, I advise everyone who applies to North Carolina Wesleyan College to also sign up for our RISE program. It is our repayment initiative for student education. So what that looks like is basically here's the requirement. So if you transfer in, um, you need to graduate from North Carolina Wesleyan College and need to make under $50,000 a year. Once you do that, you'll make your first, second, and third payment. And once you make a payment towards student loans, they will refund you a percentage of the money back to you to help pay for student loans. So once you pay your first and third month, so a percentage, so 10%, 12%, whatever the percent may vary, will get refunded back to you for paying your student loans. So financial aid, here is financial aid. Um, Financial aid is available every year, October 1st. So this year will be October 1st, 2021. And I highly advise everyone to apply for financial aid. Um, if you have already, you can just add the code right there below. Um, NC Wesleyan's code 002951. And then just add us in there and then we'll be able to process your financial aid. So scholarships, we do offer academic scholarship and these are our marriage scholarships. So for traditional students, this is the traditional side, but the next slide that we're going to go to will be for our transfer students. So these are transfer scholarships. So with a minimum of 3.5 GPA, you'll qualify for transfer award gold. So that'll be 15,500. With a 3.0, you will qualify for a transfer award blue, which is a third, which is 13,500, 2.5 for a transfer award white would be 10,500. And um, also a transfer opportunity award, which would be a 2.0 minimum, but that would be $2,000. We also do offer additional scholarships. So if you graduate with your associate's degree, we'll add a plus two Wesleyan scholarship, which is $2,000. And we also have a Phi Theta Kappa Gamma Beta Scholarship, which is $1,000. And we also have United Methodist Scholarship, which is an additional $2,000. And all the requirements are below for the scholarship. So admissions overview. So we are rolling admissions. Um, like I said, we're in the fall semester. You guys don't have to turn the ACT, SAT test scores. Um, so what does that mean is that there's no deadline for our application. Um, our application is free online and our requirement would be to apply online, submit your transcripts for your college that you're already attending, we'll evaluate you 
And once we evaluate you, we'll send you an acceptance letter. And then you will have to uh, um, deposit $200 for your enrollment deposit. A enrollment deposit will cover for your schedule, your seat in class, as well as your housing application. So here's a slide. If you would like to take a virtual visit or a physical visit on campus, you can type in ncwc.edu slash visit, and then you can schedule a visit with me. And we'll take a tour of our beautiful campus. Thank you all for your time. If you have any, I'm here for all the questions to give you the answers, and thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll move into the Q&A portion of the event. We'll give students a couple minutes to get those questions in. Um, let me go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave your PowerPoint up there just for a few more minutes to let students jot down that contact information. And then we will um, turn it over to Mike as those student questions come in. Sounds good to me. Uh, our first question is, what is a competitive GPA for admissions and what is the minimum GPA requirement? So the minimum GPA requirement will be a 2.0 if you're transferring from um, college, community college over or any college coming over here. Um, and our competitive GPA as far as getting in, yeah, it's just 2.0. If you're transferring in um, for freshman, traditional freshmen, this is a 2.5 GPA. Um, and I, I, I noticed that you said you guys are on a rolling admissions, but in your opinion, when is the best time to apply? So if you're applying for the fall semester, the best time to apply is before August 25th. And for the spring semester, is before January 14th. And that's the previous year, correct? Yeah, so if you're trying to come into the fall now, August 25th, well, you have all this time until August 25th to apply for fall. And if you want to apply for spring, you will have until January 14th. And that's after our drop ad period. Okay, thank you. And the important. next question is, uh, do you recommend completing the associate degree before transferring or can students just transfer with the minimum requirement of 24 to 30 credits? Yeah, they can transfer in with a minimum of, of 24 to 40 credits, but I would advise if you get your AA, you will receive an extra $2,000. So I'm all for helping out and giving out money. So I would say if you can get your associate's degree, then transfer so you can qualify for the plus two West scholarship. Okay. And then if a student has uh, multiple transcripts from different schools, uh, how do you go about averaging uh, or do you average the transcripts together or how do you go about making that decision uh, for the admissions process? Yes, yeah, so say if you went to three colleges, um, we would need all your transcripts for all three college and then we'll add it up in our database from each college that you attended and then it will give us our overall GPA and that's how we go about that process. Okay. And then the next question is, uh, do you have any advice for students um, looking to make their application stand out? And what are the things that they should highlight most dur uh, during their application? Um, academic achievements, of course, is a must. And any extracurriculars or anything that you do for your career. So for example, if I'm a graphic designer, um, for my application, I will put my application and send a transcript over and I'll also send in my resume. And then I'll have on my resume, my and on my resume, my portfolio and the accomplishment that I have done over my time at my current college or in life in general. So always highlighting your academic success as well as what are you trying to pursue in life. 
Okay. And can you talk a little bit about your online degree programs and options? So, unfortunately, oof, coming in as a tradi not traditional, but a standard student, um, we don't offer online, but our our adult or degree program does. Oh, they can do strictly online. But for us, the the most online that you can have would be you have to come on campus one time a week on our main campus, which is in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Okay. Um, and then could you describe student activities and student life for transfer students? And uh, do transfer students usually live on campus? Um, and are there any specific clubs and organizations for transfer students? All right, so I could be, I could talk about this. So I lived on campus and I was a transfer student. Um, it varies because of if you live in Rocky Mount or you live in Wilson, um, some people try to save money and just stay home. It could be um, clubs and organizations are all open to everyone. Um, and you can also start your own club and organization. Um, I started the esports program here and it's growing to what it is today. And it's all open to whatever you, the student would like to do. So yes, they are available. Yes, they're open and yes, we have activities for them, but they will just have to, if it's interesting to them, they'll just have to come to the interest meeting and just join the club. And all, or if they would like to create a club, we also have procedures for that as well for them to create a club. Great, it looks like we have one more question. Um, a student asked, who is, <laughs> who is the best contact for the online degree options or who would you recommend they, they reach out to for that? Cool. I, mean, well, I can actually drop the is it? I can drop the link here? Yeah, you should be is able that to. A thing? Okay, I'm about okay. to go to the program right now for it. Here it is, and I'm going to drop that in the chat. And it's our adult professional studies program. Um, could I drop the show conversation? It's right here, and it'll give you all the information. Then that will be passed over to another department here. But if you'd like to do online classes, adult professional studies program would be your best option if you don't want to come on campus at all and just do it online. And then also the merit-based scholarships that you mentioned, they're available to mm -hmm. uh, online students as well, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. cool. Great, thank you. It looks like we don't have any more questions at this time. I do want to give students a couple more minutes in case they have any last minute questions for you. Go ahead and add them in the chat box. And while they're thinking about those and adding those in, I'm going to put the survey link into the um, question and answer area where they can, where, where students you can complete the survey for a chance to win that $50 gift card. Right. Thank you. And while we're waiting for any other questions, I did just want to thank you so much for joining us today for this event. We are very appreciative you were here as a presenter and for all the attendees that came. No problem. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Of course. All right. We'll give students uh, one more minute and then if not, if no more questions come through, I can close out the event. All right.
Right, it looks like that's it. I will go ahead and end this live event. Thank you again so much for joining us today. No problem. I hope you guys stay safe. You have a great day. You Thank as well. you.